Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com got it uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking about the greatest yeah, yeah. Go check out the article even tell a neighbor, tell a Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out, one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Scream. Uh, what you think? Uh, real talk. Real fans. Real Talk. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. I'm Mark the Stat Man Skevich. We got a great show lined up for you tonight. The NBA Finals starts tonight, but we got a lot more to talk about in the world of sports. Before we get into everything, let me introduce my co host, the one and only Trip Young. What's going on, Trip? What's going on, man? Oh, uh, man, it's, the, it's, it's that time. It's that time of the year, man. We're getting yep. ready tonight. I'm, they, you know, and what happened was I made a special request tonight uh, mm -hmm. with the NBA. I called up uh, Commissioner Silva because uh, they wanted to start the game a little earlier. They wanted to start the game at 8, but I called them up. I said, listen, Real Fans Real Talk is on from 8 to 9, so I need you to push things back until 9 o'clock. You know, he, I was trying to really get it to, like, well, 9.30 so we had time I mean, to get home, but... It makes sense for them because they don't want the the New York ratings to go down with exactly. the NBA because you know yeah. they, they'll miss the they won't pay attention the first quarter exactly the second quarter they you know they'll just tune in for the second half because you don't exactly. want to miss real fans real talk yeah of course. and that's what that's what I was so, that's what I was thinking but, but you know he's uh, Silva's a good dude so I spoke to him he said everything was copacetic Facebook static, live feed and um, I'm not I'm not used know, to that like usually yeah. when the camera switches on cable <laughs> I have a chance to kind of. You know, do what I need to do, but Facebook Live is seeing Yo. that now. So now I, I don't, I Listen, don't get no breaks. I don't get the camera shot nah, break. Nothing. No, 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 no breaks. We are on Facebook Live against the second week in a row. We going live on Facebook. So everybody that's following us on Facebook, that's Facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk. You know, y'all make sure y'all y'all log in, hit that live video. We got a very special guest joining us today. It's the NBA Finals, but this uh, young lady, she just just came off of winning a title over in Europe. She's a hooper, a baller. She does a little music as well. Uh, Nikki Avery's going to be joining us a little bit later on in the program and we're going to talk about you know how, how she was doing over there, kicking butt over in the Euro League and whatnot. But um, we do got some stuff that we got to get to first because you know it always gives myself and the stat man pleasure when the Yankees you know are, are doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, you know right now they've been playing some really good baseball. All of those young guys on the team have been balling out, and uh, New I think New York is back. I think it's safe to say that New York is back. Uh, you know, we had a surprising run last year. I don't think anybody expected the Yankees to do what they did last year. Um, but, you know, coming in this year, bringing in uh, Stanton and uh, and then, you know, calling up a lot of these young guys, Angela and now Glabar, who was actually named uh, American League Player of the Week because he's been balling. He set the, the, the record for youngest player to hit a home run in four consecutive games. Uh, you know, the guys out here balling, man. The Yankees are doing what they're supposed to yeah, do. A lot, of, a lot of young talent out there. They you just know, won the series with Houston. Uh, you lost the first game, but they won the last two. And they have been kicking butt pretty much across the board. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just a great thing when the Yankees are on top. Definitely. Man. Everyone else in the league needs to be worried about the Yankees. They're coming for another title this year and a lot more to come because the way our young talent is looking like now, it looks like we're going to have – it's going to be like a – a, a, a repeat of those uh, late 90s where we're winning pretty much every year. So exactly. uh, all you Yankee f haters out there need to get used to that because that's where it's going to be uh, <laughs> going forward. So just to let you all know. Yeah, I got to keep hating. If you're going to hate, just hate because, the, you know, we got a young team now. It's not even like the old veteran Yankee team that won the championship, you know, um, a, a few years back. This is a young team, you know, a good percentage of these guys are in their mid 20s, early 20s, you know. So the Yankees are going to be good for a uh, you know long time to come. Severino is really coming into his own. We knew he was going to be good, but he's coming into his own. 
eight and one on the season right now. Uh, Eleven strikeouts uh, last night. You know th these guys, Tanaka. You know, just he's playing some really good good baseball right now. Chapman, he's back to throwing over a hundred miles per hour. So you know the Yankees are really doing well. Uh, I, you know, I got to see if they if they're gonna make a move uh, during the trade uh, before the trade deadline comes in. But they are balling, and it's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. That's why I had to put on my Yankee hat tonight just to represent <laughs> for the for the baby bombers uh, out in the Bronx because they're definitely balling. On you know, but on the other side of the, of, of New York, the, you know the guys in Queens, Eric's team, uh, the Mets, they're not doing so good. Uh, three and seven in their last ten games, and now they just had to send uh, Noah Syndergaard to uh, to the DL right now. He's got a finger injury, so I don't know what they're gonna do. They did bring up Batista, you know, to help what out. What they're a gonna bit. do is they're gonna be hating on the Yankees <laughs> like they always do, because the Yankees are winning and the Mets going through troubles. Like yeah, that's kind of the story of what they're used to, the story of their lives. So they'll be back to the hate. That you know, the hate is real, but you know, what are you gonna do, man? The Yankees are the number one team in New York. I mean, they're just the number one team, period. You know, the, just the, the historic franchise, 27 championships, uh, you know, coming for 20, I think, you know, pretty soon we're going to have a championship for each team in the uh, major leagues, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, you know, the, the guys are coming back up. Uh, Bird, you know, he just came back up off of off of the, the DL. So these guys are looking really good. Baseball been good to me, it's that, man, this season. It's going down, man. So I'm I'm really looking forward to. It. I've been watching a lot more baseball <laughs> this season. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, been to a couple of games this season. I'm definitely going to be going to a couple more because it's just exciting being back in Yankee Stadium again. And and it's just one one thing about baseball. It just it really doesn't matter you know where you at. And, and, you know because it's just the atmosphere, the vibe is just something completely different. But at a Yankee Stadium, man, it's just crazy, especially when you got these guys doing what they're doing right now and, and really. Well, the other thing is, you know, City Field is usually deserted. Well, so, yeah, you know, I mean, that, you, you, you got to have people there that really get the experience because, you know, City Field has like seven people yeah. coming to the game I mean, what's at a, a time. I can't so. call it stat. I don't know what's going on out in Queens. All I know is the Yankees are doing what they're supposed to do right now. Uh, you know, the, the Mets. Unless the Yankees come direction. to town, then then they sell out. Well, of course. But, I mean, that goes without saying. You, the Yankees will sell out anywhere, man. You know that. So, this, you know, it's not a problem, man. But uh, shout out to the, to the Yankees. Shout out to Glaybar. He has been playing great, you know. We might we might have another uh, rookie of the year in back to back seasons if uh, if Glayball keeps up and uh, continues to play the way he's playing. It's a very good possibility. Exactly. Oh, and uh, I got I got to talk about my wifey for lifey, baby boo. She's finally back on the on the court. Uh, she's out, you know, right now that that the uh, the French Open. She unranked, won again. Unranked. You know, which, they they unranked her. They did. They unranked her. But you know what? It, it's what happens is when you when you unrank, you know, Serena Williams. She's gonna come in and do work like she is. She's still the best playing tennis. Don't think because she had, you know, she had the baby. She wasn't gonna come back and, you know, kick butt. I don't and think names. too many people thought that. I'm not sure what the reason really is with the unranking. I guess, you know, she was away for a while, but they I wanted mean, to make it, you know, the you other, know, the other competitors how, feel good about themselves. Well, it kind of makes the bracket harder for her since she's unranked as opposed to being a one seed. But I mean, it yeah. doesn't matter if she's good enough to win it yeah, all. Yeah, she's, she's good enough <laughs> she's to win gonna it do all. it. So it, it was it was a beautiful thing, and and she's actually uh, back to playing doubles with uh, Venus. So they're playing doubles in the in the the, the French Open as well. So that's kind of dope. And that um, you know that also you know might motivate her more. You know, as an insult, light a little yeah, fire. That like, you know what I Let think you told back. me that's what she said to you. I, well, private, I didn't but, you know I didn't want to put all the business out there just yeah, yet. Yeah, my bad about that. I you didn't know? mean to. But uh, she's coming. She's coming for the French Open title. She's coming for Wimbledon in in, in, a, in a couple of weeks, and then of course you know she's coming to finish the year off. Right back here in New York, you know, when we have the summer barbecues and whatnot. You, you've been you've been at the barbecues before. Definitely. So we're going to have, you know, we'll do the barbecues and whatnot. And then she's going, you know, back out to take the U.S. Open. She has to, she's coming back for everything. Every time, every Grand Slam she's coming back for. She's going to show once again why she's the most dominant force in the sport of tennis and one of the most dominant athletes, period. You got to love my wifey, baby boo, Serena Williams, wifey for lifey. Let's let's get this let's get this French Open. We need another Grand Slam. We need another trophy, you know, in in the case at home. So I'm looking forward to to the rest of the French Open. Uh, make sure y'all 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 logging on and y'all watching uh, Serena as she does work. Unfortunately, my sister in law Venus she got bumped out early in the first round, so she's no longer there. But of course, you get Serena, you know. 
What's better than that, man? You got Serena Williams playing in the French Open, man. I, I love it. Definitely. Uh, I, we've mentioned before going to the game, Real Fans Real Talk is going to probably have some outings at our baseball games in the near future. So make sure you're following us on social media, liking us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk. Mm -hmm. Also, Twitter and Instagram at Real Fan Talk and our website, realfansrealtalk.com. We will be sure to keep you posted with those upcoming events coming soon this summer. I want to take a couple of fan mail questions uh, before we bring our special guest. Mm -hmm. um, has close to a million retweets on his NBA Finals. Oh, I'm sorry. Quincy from New Rochelle wrote in. Um, uh, Damon Randall has close to a million retweets on his NBA Finals post. Do you guys think he will buy a Cavs jersey for all those people like he said he would if the Cavs win? Um, no. <laughs> I, I mean, no, Number one, the Cavs aren't going to win. I know, I know myself and you, Trip Young were talking about this before the show started, but a million, you're talking about retail is about $100 for a jersey. Even if you're yeah. getting it at cost, well, even if you're getting them for ten dollars, you're talking still, about ten million, and, still, still and, and the number is going to increase. So. Yeah, the numbers keep increasing. I mean, it was a uh, nine hundred fifty thousand early this morning, so I'm pretty sure it's probably cracked a million right now. I just, you know, that was just crazy. I don't know what, what he was thinking when he said that, but I mean, I know he wants the, the Cavs to win. You know, I want the Cavs to win as well. But that that's that's like you know how they. Um, they they haze the rookies and they take them out to a restaurant and the whole team is there and they start ordering bottles of champagne and or the steaks and shrimp and all type of wild stuff and the bill come back and it's like one hundred fifty thousand and you're like wait a minute I'm not even getting paid one hundred fifty thousand for this season <laughs> what am I gonna do and now you know he doesn't wild out he wild out with this one I, I don't know what to tell I don't know what to say to you him. Got to take man. a loan out to pay. Yeah, he's gonna have know. to. And it, I mean, football. They, I mean, they they're at the, the bottom of the barrel when it comes to salaries. So, I, you know, I don't know, man. If one falls move it, on the field. He's is be is broke. a tweet a legal contract though? Because you see, it people is. That's say, a verbal agreement. That that's that's, that's yeah. a verbal agreement, man. He he put it out there. I, listen. He should never said he, it. He better pray for, for he better but, be out there with Steph Curry, making sure that his his, his ankles good, his knees good. Like, listen, I mean, like, no, I don't want you putting too many minutes out there, Steph. Like we don't I want would, you to get hurt. I would have. We got to make sure nobody goes down because yeah. Iguodala went down and they lost two games to the Rockets. So he's got to make sure that it's whole over. Hampton Five is good. Listen. He needs to be promising them a trip to the Hamptons on him. So he got to do something. I would hope that the, if the if the Cavs uh, do uh, <coughs> do win, uh, that they help him out with that <laughs> with that tab because this thing is gonna get out of control like really fast. I gotta I gotta go back on Twitter and check again. I'm gonna try to get you guys the the updated numbers before the end of the show of where the the, the retweets are at right now. But uh, that that tab is going to be crazy. So I hope you can get it together, man. Oh Dude. my goodness. Definitely. I don't know why he would do that. that, that that's just crazy, man. Let's see what else we got. Uh, well, we're going to be talking mainly uh, basketball, so we'll, we'll, we'll save the basketball for when our guest, Nikki Avery, comes on. But uh, in the NFL, uh, Kaepernick's lawyer says uh, the witness will lead to a Kaepernick win in the collusion case, and uh, owners in the uh, NFL owners admit that Trump influenced the national anthem policy. So one at a time, even though they're kind of both related there. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I'm the, not surprised that Trump influenced them. That yeah, mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could say that to try to put the, all the blame on him when you know reality. What influence? You know. Yeah. He could say what what his opinion is. That's not really like he's over there. You know, coming to your door like uh, with a baseball bat or something, and saying this yeah, is how, maybe he came this is what CIA. you need to do. He like, came, might have came to CIA. over there. Uh, blackmailing them like if you don't yeah. do this then this well, is going to happen. Well, he's friends with a lot of the owners, you know, yeah. Kraft and, and, and uh, Jerry Jones. A lot of these guys contributed to his campaign, but... But they I mean, want to put the blame on somebody else yeah, when course, meanwhile it's take, their decision. So. They don't want to take uh, take onus on, on that one, but you know, I mean, realistically, and it's easy to throw Trump to. under the bus exactly, nowadays. Exactly, because so. a lot of most people, you know, they don't just blame like him Trump. Anyway. That's it. That's all he's his got, fault. Yeah, he's got a million and one issues, and a whole lot of people that don't like him already. So let's just throw Trump under the bus even further. It's okay, man. But uh, I mean, we know what it is. Uh, Steve Kerr spoke on it. You know, it's it's crazy, man. You know, finding the players 
for you know ex uh you know using their, their first amendment rights uh you know to us to assembly and um you know but it's the owners man that's what they voted on that's what they did they did at least give the players the option to not come out during the anthem so you know we'll see what happens i'm i, I really want to see when the season opens what's going to happen i want to see if guys are going to stay in the locker if they're going to come out and kneel you know, I want to see what's going to happen with these, uh, with the, with the protests this season, if they're going to continue. I know the Jets, on, um, the, the GM or the owner, one of them said that they'd pay the fines yeah, for any the players. Owner said he'd pay the fines. Yeah, for any players. Um, so we, you know, we'll see, man. Uh, they did say because that uh, they there was uh, a, when they had the vote, they did say it was the Jets owner and the and the Forty Niners owners. They said that they didn't vote, um, that they didn't uh, raise their hands, you know, either way. So, but I mean, I thought that that's, was kind of dope of him to uh, to offer to pay for the fines. Yeah, um, but are the players really going to do that, you know, and make you know, their owner pay for it? At the that's same what I mean. Time? I mean, like, I, if you know. if I was the players, I probably would just go with not coming out at all for the anthem. But I mean, it's probably still going to be mixed. You probably are going to have half the guys <laughs> come out, and then another, you know, group of guys that that don't come out. But I mean, you know, as far as the NFL goes, it's all about that check, man, because that's that. That's why this whole thing started in the first place. Because you know, prior to you know them getting the check to have the players come out, the players weren't coming out. So as long as they get their money, I guess that you know the NFL they're always looking for ways to get extra. Well, they're money. losing a lot of money now, that's for sure. But, that's uh, why they're gonna find the players. They need to get some get back on the money that they've been losing the past uh, season and a half because of the protests and then you know everything else, CTE and you know all the other things that that have affected the NFL which is why basketball is more than likely going to surpass the yep. NFL very soon. You and know, Very well might happen. But uh, do we have the video ready for uh, our special guests? Oh, we're going to keep rocking All out right. in, the, in the meantime. Well, we'll take another fan mail question <laughs> in the meantime. Our email address is fanmail at realfansrealtalk.com. Reggie from Providence wrote in, if the Cavs could somehow pull out a miracle, and beat the Warriors. I like how you feel. You know, it's a miracle. Like you know, I mean, that's the common thing out there. But Reggie, I, I do like the wording of that question. Once again, if the Cavs could, Cavs could somehow pull out a miracle and beat the Warriors in the finals, would that push LeBron James into goat status? And I have a definitive no on that. It would definitely be impressive, but um, no. I mean, I don't, I don't expect you to feel that way, but realistically, we're talking about LeBron James versus four top 20 players, four future Hall of Famers but with, it's, with the Bad News Bears. As, as, as much as they want to go and praise this all and everything, James Harden almost beat all of them by, you know, virtually by himself. Gordon played well, too. He has a team. He has Kevin Love, who's, you know, might not stay healthy for the season, might not show up because he's not the same player he was before he came to the Cavs. But none of the George Hill was a better had better stats. All these guys had better stats when before they came to the Cavs. It's just you know the offense runs through LeBron. Yes, he passes the ball. Yes, he gets assists and everything. But you know the Cavs just aren't. Uh, you know they don't play team basketball like the Celtics or the Warriors do. So it's a different basketball team. So if he wins, the only way I could see him winning is if there's injuries involved. But um, you know. Well, first and foremost, I don't know what series you were watching where you thought James Harden almost beat the Golden State Warriors by himself. Well, because now when Chris Paul was playing, yes, they had a chance. But those last two games when it was James Harden by himself, he stunk up the joint. So I don't know what series you was watching. Maybe you need to go back and watch those games again. But uh, James the, Harden could not hit the broad well, side of well, a barn. Well, well, for the first half <laughs> at least. But James Harden. Oh, got for the first ten minutes of the game, the, you the, mean? The James Harden got screwed by the refs, but I'm saying no, you know anything didn't. is possible. They, that, that, James, no, they, James Harden played they horribly had the, in the second half of both those games. The teams played horribly. They missed 27 straight three pointers in a row, and that was including James Harden in the mix. James Harden was not anywhere near close to beating Golden State by himself. So let's take that whole theory that you just had. That, 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 let's cancel that out. He uh, was we, not we close can to cancel James that. Harden. You know, I now, guess I, back to LeBron. The, though, still, him being the, if he if he was to, to accomplish this. You would have to at least put him on the same level as Jordan. Even if you don't want to put him past Jordan, you got to put him on the same level because this is something that Jordan never did. Jordan went up against two superstars at most in every uh, finals that he played. He's never played against four superstars at the same time by himself. This is like that's like saying Jordan played against Utah 
and Scotty Rodman, Ku Coach, and Kerr was all out, and they had the Bad News Bears playing as his backup crew, and he beat, no. If LeBron James goes in and beats four top 20 players, you got to put him up there. One, of you got to look at what he's already done in the league up until now. But then you add on a championship against this Golden State Warriors team, a team that two years ago had the greatest record of all time in a single season, then added the second best player, and now you have those four guys together. LeBron has no Kyrie Irving this season. And, I mean, the way these guys have been playing this all, you look this, at this how Allen season? Iverson did in what 2001 or whatever. He had a much worse team. He took his team to the NBA Finals. Yeah, he lost, but so then why are we talking about him if he lost? But I'm just saying all Give this. Give me an example of somebody the, oh, that I'm won. I'm just saying all this. You know, oh poor LeBron. He doesn't have help. What are you talking about? He doesn't have Who help. Who said poor LeBron? He, Everybody, this whole stuff. I, oh, poor LeBron. He's got to go up against them. Oh, he's he's got to do this. Like you know, he he almost lost to the Celtics, and the Celtics don't have a, a Kyrie Irving or Gordon Hayward, and they won because of LeBron. Every series they played this postseason, they won because LeBron is the greatest player in basketball right now. Every every game from 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 uh, Indiana hitting game winners to sweeping Toronto to basically yeah, beating there's no, Boston there's no by debate himself. That they so would've... if he goes in now and beats Golden State, which is an elite team, a team that we've never seen anything like this before, because there's never been a team to have four superstars at the same time. So if and he goes I, in and do, and I, I do want to, I do want to backtrack to point. to the James Harden thing because if it wasn't for the referee screwing him out of ten points and making. James Harden frustrated and then to you know going out there and taking stupid stop shots out of frustration and just completely throwing out of his game then it could have been a different story because he had two three-pointers where he should have been at the line for six three free throws and he had one four-point play that was called back so that's 10 points when they were already up by seven or I believe seven points at the time they would have been up by 17 and it would have been a whole different story but yeah they got slaughtered in the second half and James Harden wasn't wasn't you know playing himself. He was playing Basically, really well. Basically, the whole point first... is, is null and void. Well, I just want I want <laughs> to he played I, horrible because he played horribly. He got thrown. This, this, he got, many, he got thrown many, off his how many, game. How many quarters are there in basketball? There are four quarters. So in you got to play all four quarters, right? Yeah. Well, did he did he play all four quarters? Was he was he, he definitely good? did not. Okay, he disappeared. Right. He was on the court, but he wasn't on the court. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you. That's it. The, the rest took man him King out James of the game. Props, man. Give my man King James his props, They man. gave him King, King James, as you like to call him. <laughs> you know, they almost let him get away with a 10-second violation, even though the rules are an 8-second violation. They give him that he gets away with an offensive foul and then gets call, a defensive foul called on him with Tatum late in the fourth quarter, too. And, and you know, the, the refs want this Warriors-Cavs thing. The NBA wants this Warriors-Cavs thing. So the refs had, so, a, so, had, so, a, so, had a nice so part So them beating that, Boston had nothing to do with the Cavs. It was all the refs. That's basically what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, do we got the footage ready in the back, guys? Because I need, I need some, 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 some fresh ideals out here. I want, I, want to, I want to talk to Miss Nikki Avery. I want to get her opinion on this whole thing. Because you still thinking James Harden was going to beat the Golden State Warriors. I wasn't himself. thinking that. I'm, I, I, first of all, I don't think LeBron's going to be able to beat the Golden State Warriors. But this did go to seven with, with the Rockets. And it's not like LeBron is literally playing these guys against himself. He has talented players. They're just not as good as they were when they, you know, before they came to the Cavs because the Cavs play a different style of basketball and they're not utilized as often as they were when they were on other teams. Now, in comparison to the Golden State Warriors, how big of a difference are these two teams? It's a big difference. The Warriors that's are a much they, better team, they are, talent wise, and they, they play the better basketball. They are the biggest underdog of all time. It, the Cavaliers in this series. The only way LeBron's going to win is if there's injuries happening. Well, we got to wait and see. He is the best player on the planet. And that's why you could promise a million different people jerseys because it's just not going to happen. We got to wait and see. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody thought that uh, Cleveland was going to come back from being down 3-1. But they came back from being down 3-1 and won that series in seven games. So Well, Draymond Green... Missed, you know, a game and a half or whatever. So. He missed a game and a half, or 
he, he missed, he missed the game. a game. Well, a, a, he missed a game, game. But that was at home see, that would have so ended let's, let's, it. Let's not do that because I'm so tired of people trying to, oh, well, the Cavs won the series because Steph Curry because, had his because, injury because, playing injured. Because, Ke- because, oh, uh, because oh, but when, but when, when Kevin Love is injured and they lose or when because Kyrie isn't there anymore, that's an okay excuse. When, when there's injuries... For for the for the Cavs, it's okay. But when you use the, the excuse for the other team and why they lost, that's not okay. Who's that's making how it excuses? Works. Draymond Green broke the rules. He he got called with he several called different with technical nonsense, fouls. Nonsense technical I don't, foul I don't on think, the last one. I don't think one, I don't think that kicking Stephen Adams in the groin twice is nonsense. That's what led up to him being suspended. So don't give me that excuse. Oh, because the Draymond last Green, one because, because he Draymond stepped Green over LeBron should not have did what he did. If you if you actually playing basketball and not breaking the rules of the game, you wouldn't have been suspended in Game Five. So don't give me that excuse. It's a part of basketball. You break the not rules, there's a chance you get suspended. Foul. Not for it the is last one. Yes, the other ones were was. legit. That was legit too. That wasn't legit. Of course, I mean you're you're a hater, so you're gonna say no, that. No, I'm but not the is, only one. It man. is it's listen, not about hating on LeBron. It is what it is. It's I don't hate on LeBron. I just don't think he's in the Hold same. On, but you don't hate on LeBron. Jordan. But you've been saying you you're told, the president of LeBron James. <coughs> so how, which one is it? I said I retired from there. Because but you, okay, so, so prior one, to your a strong prior word. to your retirement, you was hating. I rooted for. Hold on. So prior to your retirement, you still had respect for Jordan. If you retired, that means prior to that, you were a hater. Correct. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Next, next topic, please. We got. You know what, Nikki? Can you? Can we get a chip here for Nikki? She's out here. She won a chip. I want to talk to somebody that actually won a chip. Okay, over in the European League. You know what, Miss did, Miss Nikki? Did, did you, you win a chip? Up? She doesn't like. Yes, let's just walk on. Let's what? come on. Can we? You, Most you know of what? all, I just oh, we got don't want to have any fear. You know, that's the main thing. Like, I don't want to have the fear to lose. I don't want to have the fear to like not compete. <laughs> Back, welcome back. We still on Facebook Live. Sad man, stop trying to get a close up on Facebook Live, man. What's up with that, man? We got, we got, a, we got a champion. I'm in trying the building to get right everyone now. a close up, <laughs> including the camera and the crew and our bartender Leanne. Listen, man. We got right, a everyone champion gets in the building. To, if we're gonna do Facebook Live, we gotta do it right. You can't have it there with a still shot the whole time. We, we, move, gotta, we move it around. Shout out to Elliot, man. He got us. He got us on point right now with the with the Facebook Live camera. But uh, we have a champion amongst us. It's always good. We we had a couple of champions this year, you know. But now we got we got a basketball champion, you know, this year, fresh off uh, the, the the championship over in Europe. First of all, you was across the the world, yes, balling out. Um, one of one of the most dominant performances. Yes. Uh, you know, just tell us about of my it. career. Yes, tell us about yes, it. Yes, I'm very fortunate and very blessed to have went to this team this year. I've been playing overseas for about nine years. And this is my first championship. So it was a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, I was also player of the year. I was playing in a country called Cyprus. Uh, it's a small island. Uh, the population is mostly Greek and Turkish. And um, yeah, my team's name is Keravnos. And Keravnos actually means thunder. Okay. So we had like a th- the thunder song coming on, you know, when we were warming up. It was super cool. My teammates, we got along great. The chemistry was dope. I mean, the whole year was just like a magical year, honestly. And don't I'm, confuse that with the thunder in the NBA because those guys suck. <laughs> no, you know, they're this, not. This is champions wow. over here. We're talking about. <laughs> I'm just saying these, these are champions, you know, right here. But um, I mean, nine years. That's 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 a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah, first to get championship. That championship. And and player play of the year. Play of the year. That's big. first team offense, first team defense, everything first team. You, we might, you know what? Forget LeBron. We might have to <laughs> bump you up as the guy. Tell LeBron, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> we, might to, we might have to bump you up there, man. Cause that's that's amazing. For, that's two way player and all that. That's that's oh my goodness. So first of all, how did you? What made you uh, go overseas? 
Well, right out of college, I played for, in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. So that was my first gig. Um, my, my coach kind of hooked me up. She was connected in Puerto Rico. She got me a, a spot there. And from there, I loved it. You know, I always wanted to play professional. Um, of course, my ultimate goal is the WNBA. Um, but overseas is something that we all do, regardless if we go to the WNBA or not. So I was very excited and anxious to get somewhere and see what overseas life is like. And uh, after Puerto Rico, my agent got in touch with someone in Greece and I got a job there. And from there, it just kept coming. I went to Greece, then I went to Holland, then I went to Hungary, then I went to Sweden, back to Greece a few times in and out. And now I'm in Cyprus. Now in Cyprus, you said it's a small island, like you just won a championship there. Are the people out there recognizing you like out in the street? It's um, not like a big city or anything. Yeah. But well, it's not it's not really so common, you know, I like the women's basketball, just like it yeah. is everywhere. But, you know, in my little areas, like people recognize us, you know, yeah. the ones who actually follow or like, you know, the families or the kids or the parents. And um, but we're, we were like the top team in Cyprus, you know, like if I say if I meet someone and I say, yeah, I play for Kid Abnos, they're like, oh, you know, it's like a big yeah. thing. And um, just, you know, going to different countries and being introduced to the different cultures. I mean, that's the most amazing part of it all. It's like trying to adapt to everything and learning everything, how their lifestyle is, their customs, their culture. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and um, that's what I appreciate most about going overseas. What's the, what's the best part um, outside of basketball about being over there? Um, I get to relax. You know, I, I feel like I, I like have a peace of mind. I get to like meditate and just, we only practice um, once a day. So mm -hmm. it's at nighttime, usually it's like two or three hours. So all during the day, I'm kind of just doing my own thing. And that's where I started writing and I started the music. You know, you had that time I had the time, I had so many ideas. You know, I, I look back on life, I look uh, forward ahead on life and I'm just like, I have so many things I'm learning and I'm just like, you know, I just want to get them out there. I want to yeah. share this. I want to like inspire people. I want to do things with what I'm starting to understand and see. And um, that's how I started writing. And that's what I enjoy most is like that alone time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when does the season start and end? So the season usually starts in September. So this year I got called out middle of September mm -hmm. and then I was home by May 1st. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a college school year okay. or a basketball school year for, I mean, a basketball season for like high schoolers or college players. It's the same. How many uh, games? We play once a week, so I'd say about 30 games Okay. total. And then uh, the playoffs, uh, is, it, is it like regular, like the NBA playoffs? Um, sort of like NBA playoffs. So we have the first round, which is a uh, best of three, and then we have best of five, okay. and then the finals is the same thing, best of five. Okay. So it was it was great though. I mean, we went to the last game. I, so I, I <laughs> did you drop in the, in the championship? In game? championship game, I don't know. Like it was one of those games where like I had to distribute, and I okay. was getting my teammates involved. That's an actual team player, not. <laughs> you know focused yeah. on the stats out there yeah it was one of those games like sometimes that's how the game works you know you yeah. see that like it's somebody else's turn or like they're paying so much attention to me that it's opening up other things yeah. and so I capitalized on that being the point guard and understanding that you know the flow of the game and who's hot and who's not so that rhymes right <laughs> would, you, would you consider yourself to be more of a Chris Paul point guard or a Steph Curry point guard? Um, I love Steph, man. Steph's my guy. So you just but I love the lights out? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm a shooter. I'm a okay. shooter. But I like, I like Chris Paul, too. You know, he's a hefty guard, and he gets in there. He makes great plays, especially now with that teardrop he got. And yeah. It's respected. I got to respect Chris Paul, too. Who do you think is the best point guard in, in the league right now? Whew. Man, I, I mean... I, don't break my heart. Don't make me talk about this. <laughs> I love Steph. I love Steph, but then you also have Kyrie, you know, Westbrook. Yeah. Westbrook. Really good. Too. These are like she, she's not gonna, dominant. She didn't even want to say. I don't Westbrook even want to say for the Thunder. <laughs> the NBA, her team. Yeah. The real thunder. Could you yeah. Put that in the That's the real Thunder. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, see, with me, I like to like pick plays that I relate to. Okay. You know, like to have my type of game. Like Westbrook is exceptional. I could yeah. never do the I things Westbrook does. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a he's an animal. Yeah. Like hands down. You know, they all animals in their own right. But I would stick with Steph or Kyrie. Those are my like. All right. Who has the better handle, Steph, Kyrie, or you? Me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, aside from you, Steph or Kyrie? I think Kyrie. Yeah, I, 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 I think Kyrie I, I, got I think he so got well. he. 
Yeah, but Steph got it too. Steph surprises you. You know, yeah. he does it in. I think it's 1A, 1B. Yeah. Right, like he does it when you know you, you're not expecting it he when he's in tight well squeezes. He does separation, so yes. you can cut it down to a thirty foot three pointer instead of a thirty eight foot one, <laughs> exactly. yeah, which is still thirty foot. Yeah, one. he's it's amazing. I mean, he changed the game. I mean, coming over half court, you have to guard him face guard. Yeah, I yeah. mean that's. <laughs> yeah, definitely have to. Um, all right, so how many more years do you see yourself playing ball? Yes, I get this a lot. I think I could go. I'm going to go to the wheels fall off. I'm going to tell you now. I mean, I don't really have anything holding me back or holding me down. You know, of course, I think about my future and children and things of that sort. But, mm. you know, sometimes it's just not the right time. I just got to keep moving. Why things are happening. Yeah, yeah we just won the championship. Gotta, gotta... And the crazy thing is I was almost not going to go back overseas this year. So look at the blessing in that. Like, exactly. I would have missed out on everything, you yep. know, the championship, play of the year. I mean, I had a great year. Like, and y'all seen all the trophies uh, on, on the fly on Instagram. So this is the big, the real trophy. That's not this thing. We don't, we don't rock with participation trophies. Those are real <laughs> trophies, <laughs> okay, that, that, uh, that she has. So there's dope accomplishments all, all across the board. And, yeah, you should. You should rock out until, until you care no more. Because, you know, because you can still do your music in the meantime while you you playing basketball. Exactly. So. Now, you, are you working on the EP? Or I'm working on the EP. Like I'm definitely working on the EP. So I actually just came back this weekend from South Carolina. I went to a family reunion. But at the family reunion, they were like, do you want to perform? And I performed for them. And it was the most amazing experience I've ever had. I mean, the kids, they were just, like, looking at me so inspired. You know, like, yeah. their eyes, I could just tell. I was just like, oh, man, this could be so great. You know, and I just performing I or? performed before, but not in front of, you know, family and like people down south. It was a whole nother setting. Yeah. You know, I was here in the city. You know, people are already um, expecting to hear like good music. Yeah. Family is so always a little more difficult. It wasn't expected. You know, like they know I'm a basketball player and they were just like, wow, like you're yeah. really good. Like I was getting so much love and like the kids, though, the kids, they were they were it for me. Like they just uplifted my heart, everything. Cause they were inspired, you know. They wanted to yeah. know my name. What what do I do? Like my YouTube, everything, you know. And it just that's shows nice, you that dope. they paying attention. So you now know? Are you going by your, your your real name as your artist name, or yeah. you going you got something else? I got I have a few names, you know, Nikki <laughs> V. Yeah, because you know we have Nikki Minaj, and like I yeah. respect her, like I, I I really do. I'm a fan, you know. So. It's just like, you know, it's complicated, Nikki and Nikki, and so, but I, I want to keep my name, you know, because there's, there's only one Nikki Avery, so. All right. Well, we'll see, we'll see how I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it a little bit. Are you, are you a lyricist or you, you got a ghostwriter? Because I don't want them to come out years down the road <laughs> and they quit Miller you. All no, right? I'm a lyricist. I'm a lyricist. Okay. Good, good. I speak on my experiences, you know, things I'm learning. I'm not really like a punch, <coughs> punchline bar type of rapper. Yeah. You know, I'm more like a Nipsey Hustle or something like a. Okay. You know, I'm gonna tell something, J Cole or That's something good, like that. I don't want to see you out here talking flipping packages and all that. <laughs> I want some real good music. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want you to talk about the basketball, how you was yeah. crossing girls over on the court and whatnot. Right. You know, let me let, and let me actually. I want to bring it back a little bit and actually tell the people at home how we uh, we met Nikki. Uh, shout out to H two O and the whole Balling for Peace movement. She actually played in last year's Balling for Peace basketball game, and uh, so we we actually been trying to get this, but then you wound up going overseas. Mm -hmm. But it was actually dope. It worked out because now when you come back, you got the championship. So we got even more. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. It is crazy. Guys, I've been trying to be cool about it. <laughs> Listen, you gotta it's rub crazy. that moment, enjoy it. Like that's yeah. that's a big deal. Championship mm -hmm. and Player of the Year. Yeah, it's a big all deal. Deep in, all deep, all like, everything, all everything, yeah. pretty much. Like you have to enjoy this moment. You know what I'm saying? Because these, as I said, there's a lot of Hall of Famers that don't have championships that would love to have championships. Every time I watch uh, TNT with Charles Barkley and Shaq always going back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. I know Charles Barkley would love a ring. Patrick Ewing, Reggie Miller. Like there's a lot of Hall of Famers that don't have rings. You know, so. Enjoy it. Thank you. This, this Thank is your you. moment, and you should enjoy it. That's Thank you. It. I've been part, I've been enjoying it. <laughs> That's good. Listen, you got, I've been you doing a to. lot of you know everywhere I've been going. Like my friends and my family, my support system, they've really been you know embracing this the whole situation, and they we've partied, we've had a good time. Yeah. Celebrating. Well, you know. So wait now. All right. So now you're in off season, so you can party a little more. Yeah, a little. Um, because we do we do have the bar back here. I don't know if you can, you know. 
I, you know, you I do mean, a little champagne, a little mimosa, something. Oh, okay, so you keep it, you keep it light, you keep you know? it light. All right, because we got shots today, we so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you want, if you can handle a shot or anything like that. We do have some shots of up there. I don't know. I don't know. Take a, I don't know. I'll take wine. I'll take wine. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
So do you, do you think it's going to be another 40 years before the Knicks uh, win a championship again? Who knows, right? I mean, just, it seems like it's going to be a while. Any opportunity Trip has to take a I'm shot sorry. at the Knicks. We, we have some building to do we for sure. We, we yes, I, would, I would have to out agree there, agree big, with you. Know, but he wants to go out there and shoot. Well, shoot. We're I'm saying we, I'm trying to figure out from a professional, you know, if – the Knicks can win within the next, you know, 40 to 50 years. You're talking about I, 40 years. How is I he know. supposed <laughs> to know that? I don't know. I don't know how Nobody to knows that. I'm He's just saying. He's smart, right? I'm just saying it's the Knicks of basketball, you know, and you got Madison Square Garden, and, and the Knicks haven't won in 40 years. I mean, but years. come on. New York is on top of the map and everything. It would be unfair to have the Knicks No, it's as not. Well. It's not unfair. We need everything. <laughs> if a nickel... We got to share. We got to share sometimes, you know? <laughs> no, no, we don't. The Yankees got 27 championships and we need 27 more. So the Rangers That's what I'm saying. We have 20 we years have, and it was 50 years before that too. Like, you know, the, if you're listen, playing in we the, have garden, the Rangers, We have the Rangers, we have the Knicks, we have the Yankees, the yeah. Mets. The Yankees win. The Mets don't win. The Rangers have been relevant for the past decade, but not yeah, this year. They just haven't, yeah. but they haven't won since what ninety four. Ninety four, yeah. Was the last year before we that? But it, I mean, but at least they won in in nineties while you know we was alive when they won. We have a lot of rappers. There's a lot of categories that we're like mm, top well, notch. I mean, rap started in New York, <laughs> so of course we're gonna have it's yes. a lot of categories with top I mean, notch. Okay, yes, we got Jay Z's. You know, is is the greatest right now. He's yes. the top dog still. It's definitely the top dog. Okay. But I mean, as far as but basketball, like this is the mecca yeah. of basketball. New York got to get a championship at some point. It can't be 40 years. All right, I want I want a stat man to see the Knicks get a ring before he has great grandkids. The Knicks can recruit <laughs> Nick Avery and will make it a you know. A, a you know what? <laughs> they definitely would be a lot better with you playing the point guard because I don't know uh, what French Frank is out here doing, but he's horrible. So you can get him up out of here uh, ASAP. And then now Porzingis may be out for the year. We don't even know if he's going to be playing yeah, next that season. Was a t he's tough. So I don't even think you know the Knicks. I mean, I didn't think they was going to make the playoffs this coming season anyway, but. You know, now with Porzingis out, it's definitely not going to happen. So they're taking the 76ers, trust the process. That's, yeah. That's it, but yeah. I don't know what process they trusted. Trust. I mean, that was Phil's process, and it didn't well, work well, out for Well, he got rid of him. He got poor. He, he, not before he, he messed everything Porzingis, up, though. But that was an accident. He lucked into getting Porzingis because he would have picked Jaleel Okafor if Jaleel Okafor was still available, and then that would have been no positives that came out of the Phil Jackson era in New York. He lucked up into getting Porzingis. I, I truly believe that because, I mean, at that time, during that draft, Jaleel Okafor was ranked ahead of Porzingis, so if he was still available at that right, time, if you keep Phil talking, about, <laughs> I, just, I don't drink Fixed anymore, but I might have to if you keep talking about the Knicks. So I'm, no, I'm sorry, Stan, man. I'm sorry. Porzingis was a big pickup, though. Porzingis he was. was a big pickup. He was, and I and I, I like Porzingis. I used to call him Snuffleupagus, but then once you know my my player, they got drafted to the Knicks, and I had a little more respect for him. So then I started calling him Porzingis after that. So and much respect to KD, even though he was trying to throw shots. I didn't throw a shot. I just throw a sucker move. Leaving the he team. wasn't trying to throw shots. He was throwing. That, yeah, he tried. <laughs> I asked, I asked, those shots I asked K, the question. My guy KD, man. I asked the question. I just think that was corny for you to get the, you know, the stew beef beat out of you. It, it wasn't corny for why, LeBron why, to leave why, Cleveland yeah, why is it and, corny? and join Wayne and Wade and Bosh. Because he right? didn't just finish losing to Wade and, and Bosh in the playoffs. No, he just the year before. I mean, he just leaves yeah, but that's just East West Conference. They don't match up or something. He leaves yeah, but that's his a, hometown and destroys his city's economy. And <laughs> oh know, my, that's gosh. okay, right? <laughs> Really, he's he's responsible for the economy of the entire city. Basically, like, no. The he, bars didn't make money. The, the the hotels didn't make money. Nobody cared about oh Cleveland anymore. Goodness. Well, listen, they got Kyrie out the deal, even though he's no longer there. But you know what are you gonna do, man? But we do have the NBA Finals. You taking Golden State? How many games? Um, I'm not gonna say sweep. I'm gonna say four one. Four one. Yeah, that's what I think too. They're gonna, Four, the Cavs are going to win. All right, I'm not going to disrespect Bron. I'm sorry, Bron, because I like Bron too. <laughs> Bron's my guy. Because I was about to say, because this is going to determine when you come back on the show after this, this answer you give to these questions right now, okay? So you're going to give Bron too. At least I'm gonna give Bron two. All right, fine. You know I, I I'll take. I'm gonna give Bron two. You are the pro. You the you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the champ here. All right, but I'm all right. only giving him one. Is is uh is is LeBron the best player in basketball? Yeah, LeBron is a beast. Okay. Now you know what? Actually, I want I, would, I want to go back to the. I've never question. said he wasn't either. Who's no, but the, I, I do. I want to I want to get your opinion on the fan mail question. Mm -hmm. I, um, the, the fans wrote in, uh, if if LeBron uh 
does manage to beat this Golden State Warriors team, is he now in, the, in that GOAT? Yeah, that don't be for sure he'll be in that GOAT category. That's They're already sure. putting him in I the I mean, he's already in the category. But now he's accurate. See, LeBron, LeBron is smart. He's a smart player, you know. He's not going to just... He's, he's building that killer, you know. That's why everybody's saying he was missing, right? The killer, yeah. the Michael Jordan killer, the Kobe killer. But I think he has that killer, but he's smart. So sometimes it seems like he doesn't have it, you yeah. know. But he does have it. He just likes to get people involved. He's not a selfish player, you know. And he's also a smart player. He doesn't want to do, you know, if he sees two or three people on him or he feels like he could make a read to get somebody else open yeah. to make sure that they're hot for the rest of the game, yep. that's what he's going to do. Yeah. So LeBron sometimes is, it works out. If Jordan sometimes played in this area, sometimes he'd sometimes average it doesn't. 40 points a game. Right. <laughs> if, Jordan. if Jordan played in this area, he'd average over 40 points a game in his yeah, career. Yeah, but see, Jordan is a beat. Like, when I watch Jordan highlights, I'm like, oh, my gosh. In a different yeah. game, I mean, too. He had to <laughs> drive it. When he drove in, he he had guys like Bill Lambeer and Shaq waiting for him. Like, you know, yeah. you yeah. Other, you don't you don't have that. And you, you know, know Bill the, Lambert ready plus, to plus, hack everything. Plus the floor <laughs> is spread. You got your centers who are out on the three point line to leave that open. He for did, but you. You, but but again, and you, you can't know, hand check. He's also this is also a three point shooting league now. When Jordan was in the game, it was not a three point shooting yeah. league. That was a, a, a specialty. If you were shooting the three in Jordan's era, this is a three point league. Now you have to shoot the three to play in this league to really make it. You got but seven. That's exactly foot, six why he would be scoring over forty points because the lane would be wide open for him. Yeah, he would. I think he would have worked on it. Yeah, I mean, well, he Jordan got better every year. So he, shot anyway. he yeah. I mean, the, the shrug game, you know, he yeah, had well. six or whatever. <laughs> that's why he was not now Steph Curry does it, you know, yeah. I mean, everybody every tries game. to do it now. <laughs> There's so. no, Jordan well, was a dog, yo. Yeah, he nah, was a dog. Listen, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan is, is is the greatest, to, you know, to to yeah. ever do it. But mm -hmm. uh, but LeBron is is on his heels, and if he does manage to win a championship this year, he's gonna be right there, right next to him, side by side. I just by side. think because he's the best in the era that people want to compare him to Jordan. But I don't I don't even think he was better than Bird, to be honest with you. Bird averaged a double double in his career. He I averaged know, ten, I don't know 10 rebounds a game. Bird, Bird is not was even a great in, defender too. Bird can guard even, centers Bird is too not, when he needs to. Not even to. ranked top five all time right now. LeBron's I'm, definitely I'm better saying, than LeBron, Bird. And if you look at his LeBron's career accomplishments and what he's gonna do when his career is over, he's I mean, barring a major injury, he's probably gonna pass Kareem for most points all time. He's top just, ten. He'll be top well, just ten in assists. Because he played more years top. doesn't make you a better player. That's why you know I always say Barry Sanders was a better running back than Emmitt Smith. And some people want to argue Emmitt Smith's career stats just because. But you just because you hang around, you still just have to. You, you played still have more to, years to, doesn't make you a better player. You know what? Yeah. I, you know if what? If Jordan I think didn't retire those two years and then retire a second time for a while. He came back at age 40, still put up 40 points. His career numbers went down because he was playing in his 40s. But, I mean... In my opinion, Bird, like what puts LeBron like up at the top top is, is all the scrutiny and all of the pressure and all of the everything that he has to deal with, and he's still performing. Yeah. Like, that's not easy to do. You understand? He's getting this scrutiny. He's getting this from everybody. I'm sure his close friends, the media, forget about the media. Like, and then look at us, the people. Yeah. I mean, all we're doing is talking about what he's going to do, yeah. what he didn't yeah. do, what he did do, what he's not going to do. So imagine having that all on you and still going out there and competing. Yeah. You can get there. There's, a, there's a lot of guys that are around the league for a long time, but they're not putting up the numbers that LeBron is putting up. Like, I mean,. Or he got, or he got seven finals. championships, but nobody's putting him as a top five player, top anything player. So guys are around. That's but relevant you, if we're talking about still, the championship thing. Yeah, but I'm you not still, using you still have to, you still have to, to do the things that he's doing. He's not just around and not doing anything. He's around for this time, and he's the number one guy. We're talking about his 15th season in yeah, the but NBA, he's during and there's a there's if a Bird huge gap in this between era, LeBron. He'd be, he'd no, be he wouldn't. No, 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 he would not be putting. And plus, up he had a three two back then. No, he wouldn't. And now he would not be doing what LeBron is doing right now. At he age 30, be. he had a 50, 40, 90 season, and his you know, and he averaged he had better stats than he was, LeBron. He was a good shooter. But his he was numbers a good shooter. Not, he was a good defender. Did he, he could drive did he have in. More, did he have more MVPs than LeBron? Now you're bringing out that, that you can what, use that and, Robert Ory championship. In his 15th season, season was he was he the best that. player in basketball? So he would not be doing what LeBron was doing right now. Sorry. Well, he was. Well, the best. we'll never know, honestly, guys. We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what we do know is that 
<laughs> the champ is right here next to us. It's the, the champ That's is what we here. Know. The champ is here right now, fresh off the, the European title. First of all, one more. T- let the people at, at home know how they can follow you and, and, and check out all the moves you're making. How they can learn the crossovers and the jump shot, and how to make the right decision on the floor. Um, well, my Instagram is at Nikki Avery. My name is spelled N I K I um, Avery A V E R Y. So it's at Nikki Avery. Um, Facebook is the same thing. It's Nikki Avery. Uh, Twitter is re- at Real Nikki Avery. Because um, don't be confused with the fake Nikki Avery on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, don't get confused. So yeah, the main thing is that my name is spelled with one K. So it's N I K I. So I'm actually half Greek and half Black. Okay. So the name Nikki means victory. It has like a whole significance behind it. So like Auntie Katumpo. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the Greek freak. I'm the I'm the baby <laughs> Greek freak. Okay. I'm the baby Greek freak, really. Right. Listen, I see I seen the game, so I listen, I can vouch for the for the game on 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 the court, man. You definitely have been holding it down and uh we definitely wish you much success. Back to back champion. Matter of fact, no, three P. Over in, in the European League and then a WNBA championship. We're just going to put all that out there, right? All right, now. let's do it. And when you come back, bring the trophy, and then we want to see the, the, the music video when you come okay. back to it. That's what we're going to wait for. That's a bet. All right. A, a live is. musical performance next time on Real That's Pandora. a bet, too. Oh, okay. okay. Perform. Matter of fact, I'm down with that. We're going to have to get you to come for the Rifties and perform this year at the Rifties. All right. That's the, after the SBs, That's we have the, the Real Fairs, the SBs, Real Talk Awards. Basically. The SBs, so, I like that. Yeah, so the week after the SBs, keep that, on, keep that open on your calendar for you to come perform. All right. We're almost out of time, but I'd like to take this time to announce that <coughs> I did resign from the president of the LeBron James Club, but after this episode, I am now the CEO of the LeBron James A <laughs> Club because I, I'm just, I can't take this, you know, comparing him to, to people of that, era, to Jordan of that era and... I'm, I just got to go back. Well, there's only—I mean, there's only one uh, person that they're comparing to because there's no comparison with everybody. Else. He's better than everybody else. So. And they, how about the great Kobe? There you have it. Well, there, there was He's uh, a Kobe hater. I was watching. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was watching ESPN the other day. I was uh, watching Kerry Champion, and they were talking about how come Kobe wasn't in the goat conversation. And I think it was Marcellus Wiley who was uh, who was saying, "Well, you can't be the goat if you're not even the best at your position." Kobe is good. Come on. He's not. He's a shooting guard. Mike is a shooting guard. So how's he gonna be the goat if he's not better than Mike? Come on, guys. I'm just Let's saying. stop it. Kobe's the man. <laughs> we don't have to say that. Day. <laughs> oh, I'm with Larry Bird plays small forward too. So I'm just gonna throw out that extra hate in there. But he you wasn't know. the best of all. Oh, time well, that's your position. opinion. Yeah, Larry Bird was good though. He he had height. He had size. He was a good. He was a good shooter, but he's no LeBron James. But yeah, wasn't just shooting. LeBron. But anyway. That does it for this edition of Real Fans Real Talk. I'm Mark the Statman Skevich. I'd like to thank Nikki Avery for coming here and joining us. And for Trip Young and well, uh, myself, we'll see you next time on Real Fans Real Talk. Good night, everyone. Peace out. Thank you, guys. Good night, Facebook Live. Peace. What up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh-huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a bad hand. Sports, <laughs> gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh-huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh-huh. I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com.